Today's word vitamin is on that word school and the whole word school and schooling when I first got clean and sober nearly 20 years ago going back to school was just something I couldn't tolerate the thought of because at school I was a clock watcher I I didn't engage I was imagining fairies in flowers in trees outside the window and here we are you know I'm nearly 53 years of age and fairies fairy lights you see one of the little fairy lights there they're everywhere and flowers if you come to my home or where I work, there's always fairy lights and flowers. So I'm still away with the pixies, but there's also a saying that, you know, that we, we teach what we need to learn. And for the last 20 years, I've been needing desperately to learn how to become a better person, a less dysfunctional person, as a recovering drug addict, alcoholic, person that was just really honestly behind closed doors, just frightened of the truth of who I really was. Being schooled in the art of self-forgiveness and learning how to build muscles of self-respect is something that I still do every day and I've got a long way to go. <laughs> I'm in no danger of becoming a saint. But going back to school and remaining teachable and not disappearing up our own ass is so important for us as we get older. And the older we get, the more teachable we need to get. And if we can surrender to the truth that there's lots we don't know and make space to learn new stuff life can get gentler there's a saying you know that um, as people get older generally they don't get wiser they just get more careful so being careful to not go back into old fearful habits is an education and uh, today's word vitamin, if you get a chance to read it, I talk a little bit about how I make sure I go back and do some serious, rigorous self-study, not just my morning meditation and my work, but I take myself away from my work and have a look at my own stuff. And I, I do that. I usually do a little bit of a retreat every year, whether it's on an overseas holiday or just going away and writing for a month. And, and I've got um, a little self-study workshop coming up that I'm doing up in Mullaney in October that I really know my heart is ready to be schooled in some new lessons around surrender and self-care because it's easy to, to self-neglect. If you get a chance to read the word vitamin there might be some little massages of hope there for you if your heart's feeling tired and you know you need to learn some new skills or upskill you know in, in your relationships. A couple of my two favourite wordsmiths, one is, um, I call him Uncle Bertie, Albert Einstein. He's, he's an amazing man and, and just had a beautiful way with words. And, and uh, one of his quotes is that um, wisdom is not the result of education and schooling, but more a result of a willingness to spend your lifetime acquiring it. And... Uh, that's, that's a good question for most of us in adult life. Where do we go to school? Where do we go to learn? You know, do, we, do you have a wise elder that you learn from? I pay good money for eldership. I don't have wise elders in my tribe. So, uh, you know, I seek counsel for those that um, are paid to remain in the constructs of disagreeing with me without disrespecting me and caring more about my heart than my ego. So who do you have in your life that's helping you um, school yourself in being a better person just a question to ponder today and there's also another beautiful saying um, and that is he who opens a school closes a prison and often the worst prison for most of us is is being in within our <clears throat> in prison within our own fears and when we go back and learn better ways we sometimes it's like getting out of jail I also promised to show a little um, snapshot of this beautiful flower collage on my wall here a lot of people have asked me about it um, and if you want to find out how to access beautiful treasures like this you need to come to the happiness place it's a little um, renovated building in Paddington I'm on the lower second floor I'm by appointment only you can't just pop in and see me but you can always email me um, but the happiness place is just a treasure trove of delight upstairs and this is a beautiful piece that um, if you want to find out more about you can um, have a chat to Laurel at the happiness place and she'll 
she'll uh, connect you with this beautiful artist. Anyway, bit of a long one today. Better go. Mwah. Lots of love. See ya.